What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is peak week video. We are exactly eight days out, so peak day plus one day. We're starting this video off with a workout with Sylv and some posing, reading our oats. We were actually a lucky girly because yesterday was a high day. We had sushi. And then today's like a medium day, uh, so I get a little bit more carbs than I normally would. So honestly, mood-wise, we're feeling pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoy peak week. Good, good. Rotate much better through the arms and the shoulders. This arm can even kind of pull forward a touch and then drop. And then that, that vacuum should be through here, right there. So it's not so much of an extension through here, right? Because that's through. exactly, yep. Okay. Pull yourself tall and then belly button in. There we go. See how that will narrow you in even more? Tightening up more there, good. Do you wanna just add a small, just look towards the front? That's all, so, so from here, from the, your twist? Yeah. When they say quarter turn, so keep your eyes here for now. When they say quarter turn to the right, just look towards the judges and loosen out your arms. Yeah. This arm can come down a little bit. So if you look at even the brick wall, like see where the, the oh, line yeah. is? My see hand how, hand. Exactly, so that arm always, you gotta just cue it to drop a touch, okay? It'll feel wrong but it's yeah. actually gonna balance out. This okay. is the one that I always hunch up yeah, yeah. and all my poses too. Yes, okay. there we go, there we go, there we go. Look at the difference. Cause now your delts can look balanced and your back will look more balanced. Good extension too. Glutes up. Pull your glutes up a little bit more. Yep. If we draw a straight line from your feet through, through to the middle of the body, if your hips were lower, your uh, body would look a little bit lopsided. Yeah, close your hand, a little lower, yeah. And then so see here too, like we can we can keep way more of a forward. That gives more density. Look at when okay. you pull back. Yeah, legs always first, right? Remember we talked about that? Elbow forward. When a, when a muscle is less tense, there's gonna be less blockiness showing. You know what I mean? Okay. So like I, I get the concept of like slightly bending, but then it kind of takes away from the muscle bellies popping, right? As you're locking, kick it. It's like kick your bum back, but then kick the hip forward. Yeah, yeah, there. You just have to hold it for some time and get yeah. used to that contraction. Okay. So that's such a cool. Uh, I know, isn't piece. it? Yeah. It's new. Yeah, yeah, it's their new stuff. So they gave it, um, to, like the V Cube gave it to our, the, their Olympia athletes oh early. So it'll be dropping in a couple months, but it's nice. It eh? looks very Olympian. Yeah. Olympia, Olympia stuff. You know, like, very, like, very <laughs> nicely colored. <laughs> nice, nice. So let's just go ahead, rear delt fly. Good. And cue that retraction right from the start. There you go. Breathe out every time you open. 11. Good, 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 good. Okay, so with the dumbbells, you're just gonna do bent over narrow rows. Pause at the top for two counts. Okay, so glutes lifted, arched. Tilt, good. Nice and parallel, and go ahead, hold it. Two, down for two, good. Up for two, and make sure your shoulders do the pulling. Okay, I'll hug your elbows in a little bit more. I'm gonna have my hands here just to like stop you. Go a little lower with this one, yeah. So don't pull as high with the right, yeah. Five, there you go. Nine, hold that, depress down. Squeeze it in the lats, good. Again, 10. Now go pump for five. Five, four, three, don't extend too much, two, one, Good, take a second, 30 seconds. Jody's like, if you don't calm down, like your body's gonna yes. fucking hate you. She's yeah. like, and then we finally just, she was like, just let go of everything. And that's like when we went through all like the mental stuff yeah, for me, yeah. and that's when things really changed. Yes. And then as soon as I like calmed down, it was like my weight was dropping. Like yep. I got to Anaheim and like everything was just yep. like going smoothly. And she's like, see what happens when you don't, like exactly. when this freaks out, like everything else freaks exactly. out. Exactly. You're now becoming an, an, like a, a seasoned, more seasoned athlete in that sense where like you know what to expect, you know how competitions run, you know how like yeah. you should feel going into a show. Like like it's not as scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not your fourth show? My, yeah, as a pro. As a pro, okay. As a pro, yeah. Total six? Total six, because I did FUAD, Toronto Pro, Pro Debut, Olympia. Wow, wow. I used this one. Wow. Here's fine. A little bit wider, and then thumbs around the other side. Right, good, no good. thumbs, bodybuilders, <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so tilt up with this arch, good. Eyes up too, depress down first. Eyes up, chin up higher, higher, yep. And then squeezing down, now go ahead, pull down, hold it, five, four, don't use your wrist, don't use your hands. There, lock it through uh, the lats. See what can take over so easily? Yeah. Okay, now go up slow, keeping your shoulder blades set, and go again, same thing. Four. It's like you're trying to just like hold that isometric contraction very, very tightly. Five, now just give me eight reps back to back. Go ahead. Still feeling for that contraction, that area that we just activated. Two, 
three. Think more with the left. Four, five, two more. Six, make your finger pinky. Done, good. How'd that feel? You were like, yeah. you should have seen your Christmas tree back here. Christmas? <laughs> Can you believe there's Christmas stuff coming out already? Oh, really? Like literally. Oh my gosh. My TikTok changed from like Halloween to Christmas TikTok so fast. <laughs> So from here, let's see as how many reps you can do. Let's take these ones to failure. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, good form. Keep your glutes back a little bit. Yep. Hinge a little bit over. Yep. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Yep. Pull the shoulder blade away. Seventeen. Eighteen. Two more. Nineteen. One more. And then put it down. And hold your hands here. Little baby flutters. Okay, I'm gonna put some weight on it. Go. Oh. Think middle delt. Middle delt on the right. Yep, 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 yep. A little lower now. Yep, lower high, low high, low high. And done. Good break. Good job. Good job. Oh. <laughs> a little jump scare at the end. It was like, oh, you're doing so good. Lot of races. Don't put them down. No, pop. <laughs> just for deeper fibers. Don't you feel like that just like gets that that yeah. burn just so much more deep? Eight, nine. Done, good, oh, oh my, my gosh. Hold your pose now. Put the pump into there. Open the shoulder, open this side. Sometimes I'll get people to do this just to like bring that intensity even further and you'll be able to hold your poses better too when you're on stage. That endurance and relax. Hey. Oh, I'm sweaty. <laughs> Sweet. This one we haven't done yet together, but uh, it's gonna be rope pull downs. So with the rope, you're able to open up more and draw lower. Okay? okay. So I want you to really focus on the elbows, digging as low as you can into your low lats. Okay. With okay. So, but shoulders have to cue first. Okay. So from here, and I have you facing the other way so that you can keep your glutes up and support ah. on this. Okay. Now from here, you're going to first depress down. And think of like ripping apart the rip apart the rope. Dig your back. Nice and tight. You could even try to get your elbows to, to hit it. how long the range is. Yeah. Let's see. Let me breathing out as you pull. Good. And then don't let the arm go too high. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. Four. As if you're trying to rip and pull. Good. Posturing up really tall. Make sure your scaps are not behind you. Okay. Have everything ahead of you. Holding it for five seconds first. And then we're going to go for 15 reps total. Okay. okay. All yeah. holding five seconds? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Just oh. five, five seconds first and okay. then 15 reps. I was like, that. oh my God, this is going to take an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so don't round your shoulders. Oh. Posture. There. Okay, ready? Here. Yep. Holding it. One, two, three. And it's like whenever you're doing the holds, you want to keep pushing into the contraction. Okay. Posture. Okay. Now go ahead, down slow. Now back to backs. One, two. Control it. Control it. Three. So even though you do just single reps or like one by one tempo, it doesn't mean to like speed up with it. It's just, you still have to finesse the weight. Seven, open that shoulder blade. Eight, see how it looks like a little bit more muscle is being engaged when you open it. Good, 10, 12, lean over a little bit, hips back. 13, yep, yep. And let's hold that last one. Go, hold, two, three, trap down. Good, four, done, good, nice. Regardless how Olympia goes, I yeah. feel like based on how Titans went, I feel like my season in general is just so yeah. much better. So. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. If we were to take comparison of like when you helped me right before Olympia last year yeah. versus this year, it's like so different. The engagement, like I remember at, at FE, like like I look like a completely different. You look very new, yeah, new yeah. to the game, yeah. Very new. Like everything was so different, and like yeah. just even like like the routine and everything like that. I just feel like I have a better understanding of my body. Yes. Compared yes. to last year, so yeah. big yeah. differences. So good. So and I don't mean to jump into 2025, but apparently I'm already qualified for 2025. Fun okay. fact. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Titan Show. The Titan Show. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. so weird, but like I saw the list for 2025 and my name's on it, so I'm gonna I screenshot that and I'm like. Evidence. <laughs> Evidence. I don't was on the away. list. You can't take it from me. <laughs> Please don't take it from me. Amazing. Um, but yeah, I think for me, like as of right now, Jody said, obviously don't make any decisions because yeah. you don't make decisions during prep and yeah. stuff. But I do see myself wanting to like, again, come back for my next season with big improvements. And yeah. I think for that to happen, I'm going to need some time off and have a good like off, off season, season again, bring back balance into my yes, life. Yes, yes. Not only improve like in this area, but also like improve in my skill set too. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I yeah. come back for routine, I want to make sure it's it's elevated. Even more elevated. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to come back with like 
the same stuff every year. I yeah. do want to level up. So I think taking some time off will be beneficial for like not only my mind, but yeah. like everything else that goes into it. And so good. longevity too. I feel like yeah, 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 I'm yeah. so new to it. If I just keep doing season to season to season to season, yeah. like yeah. no proper off season, yeah. I'll, I'll like burn out, you know? And now you guys know how long you need of a cut and stuff to, you know, yeah, like, like 20 show. weeks ish. Yeah. So like even like the girls backstage at Titans were like, you look so different from last year. They're like, you actually look like you know what you're doing versus like the year before. So I was like, <laughs> funny. I was like, that's so nice. Thank like, you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, last year I blacked out. Remember, like I remember yeah. at Legion, I just was so anxious and like wow. nervous. I had no idea, so I didn't even know if I like squeezed a single muscle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like to come yeah, back. And this, <laughs> yeah, so helpful though. So. And I feel like you're just gonna get better from here. And again, like I, I've mentioned before, natural athletes have a hard time gaining muscle each year. Yeah. But it comes down to training technique. You have to be, you know, just open athletes as well. It comes down to training technique. Yeah. And I feel like because we pounded, you know, legs so hard and like really worked on delts and, and just all the other things like stabilizers, like mm -hmm. that's like all the little tiny body. cues yep. Yep. of like constantly just always thinking like now I know like my right side for some reason is like lazy with my yes. my scap and also like with my knee it, and stuff yep, like that. So, yep. so imagine yeah. another eight months of just off season training. Yeah, exactly. You know? So yeah, it'll be it'll be exciting to see what we bring. Like obviously we have this coming weekend, but it'll be exciting to see what the next following yep. years bring. Because yep. like even Jody was saying that because I'm so new, like we won't really know what I'm gonna look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until like three four years into the sport. Yes, yes. So and keep it up. I think you yeah. really have what it takes, and like you got that next spot, girl. I have faith. We just gotta work. We just gotta work. <laughs> Good for okay. you. Thank okay, you. Ladies. Enjoy the rest yes, of the day. you too. You okay, too. Bye. bye. light today well not heavy I want you to go to like 90% failure today not like we're not going for like growth we're not going 100% but we mm -hmm. I do want to push you to like 90 okay so you also need to guide me a little bit today yeah. too what's Being the like, okay. what's the rep range mm. ideally because I know you said to failure but like ideally with you it's so funny because we do rest pause I don't I know. know so we can start with 10 and then I was gonna say about 10 10 the 10 12s for sure that should be good Good, it's perfect control. I'm watching your waistline and everything today. Good. Pull. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, visualizing that pose. Get all the down, control, abs in. That's it, good. Just don't lock the elbows, keep tension on the shoulders. That's it, good, good. Mm -hmm. Full rest, no momentum, power up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got more. This one's sick, good job. <laughs> Which is weird, because that's my weaker side. That's normal, I know, it's so funny. The weaker side sometimes just is bigger. Next round, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do drop set of dumbbell shoulder press and then some type of like drill, whether you wanna do a handstand or like planche, but something that's like a shoulder pump focus. What do you wanna work on like drill wise? What do you know, typically do, you think? I usually do shoulder taps. Because that helps taps? with my, my shifting. Okay. Or I'll do like straddle presses, like as many as I can. Like at, like full the yeah. full press. Uh, not the stall. They're just straddle. So I'll just like toe tap, toe tap, mm -hmm. or I'll do like wrist tap ones, whichever mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do a different one each round then. Okay. Why not? Right. Okay. Keep it Shoulder fun. press, drop set. To warm up, I can usually warm up with like a thirty. Oh. <laughs> Show off. I mean, okay. if you, unless your thirties are really heavy, then maybe not. You know how some gyms <laughs> are like five days out. You know, they, this might be heavy regardless. But go ahead. That's true. It might be heavy. Perfect full range. Good. Nice form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Solid. A few more still. Mm -hmm. Let's get the failure. Push one more. 90% failure. Perfect. Good. That's all we want today. 15s. This would feel pretty light. Just kind of pump it out and even change your hand position just a little bit. Almost more like narrow. a Yeah. And press a little more forward. So I'm going more front tilt there. Good, 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 good. That's it. Are you even getting a pump? today who knows <laughs> I What's never bomb right? pray tight keep the blood in the shoulders good now she's showing off <laughs> that means that means we can push the shoulder press a little bit harder <laughs> if you still got that in you <laughs> good 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 yeah make handstands easy when they're tired maybe we will rest pause this one a little bit more too Solid shoulder pump. Good, 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 good. Mm-hmm. Nice control. Perfect. 
Standing oh. here as if she needs a spot. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> she needs a spot. <laughs> Let me help. Let me pretend to help you. <laughs> oh. I touched your back. I helped a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was in a fall over at one point, so. Oh, this might be heavy for me. Nah. I think so. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, we ain't going easy today. Good. Your back looks great. You'll probably get 15. Yeah, this is 13. It's too heavy. She can do 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're definitely leaner than Titans already. When the hands attach, perfect, good. Waist is tiny, pull, keep pulling. Yep, keep rotating, glutes look good. Yeah, nice. Quarter turn. Pop those hamstrings. Big lift, good, 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 yep. So that one bum cheek. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it wiggle. Good. <laughs> Quarter turn. Well, your swollen ovaries have gone away. That's good. <laughs> that was, luckily, my period, because it was supposed to come this week. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a week early. So quads are not in like this morning. Are they tired right now? Yeah. It's obviously routine, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They are tired. Even routine, they weren't as bouncy as I would have liked them to be. But I still got everything done and it landed a lot better. But okay. I do feel like my legs are, I've already done my 10,000 steps today too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That is probably because we took the bike away. Like the bike doesn't count steps, right? No. So it's probably like just swapping out the walk with rocket versus the bike. That's all. That's the only reason it's so high. So you are starting to get that flat look, but like I said, totally expected at this point. Yeah. So yeah, in our posing, I'm just going to worry about your conditioning, the perfect position, but not worry about how full or great the muscle looks right now. Cause it's not going to be perfect right now. I think I am going to give you two rice cakes for your drive home. Cause I can see your blood sugar is dropping and your depletion is definitely kicking in. It's just there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what's solid? What I love about this, I, did, I think I texted you this morning, like our Titans low day was like 1100. Yeah, And we like really had to low. coast really, really low. And right now we're, our low days have been coasting like 1400. Yeah. So the fact that you're like feeling depleted on 14 is like solid. Like yeah, that's, that's good. good. That's okay. good. Cause then we can even get your calories higher. Like, a, yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good sign. So we should be able to get your calories pretty good higher. I am going to give you some food to take home with you. Yay. A solid we 15 grams of carbs, which honestly Woo. when we're depleted is a lot. Yeah. Um, those rice cakes are going to hit. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know the exact plan I want to run with this time, but I know we, I want to water load this time. We'll probably do another low-ish day tomorrow, but then we do need to start putting your calories up on Tuesday, which the I will. Day. Yeah, okay. which I'll decide on tomorrow based on pictures tomorrow. Like, see if your weight drops or not more, mm -hmm. and then start deciding when we put your calories up. But you're just packing all your food with you. I'm right? packing everything. Yeah, okay. and then workout-wise on Tuesday, since I fly at 12, I can work out early in the morning, unless you think it's better for me to work out when we get to Las Vegas. Ideally, both, whether it's weights first and cardio later. But okay, one okay. after flight, I want you to have movement of anyways. some type. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So. I'll probably do my, my weights then in the morning. So I think it's going to be easier for me. And then we can just do cardio. Cardio later? That works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. And then I sent you your plan. So tomorrow's just like light, light, light legs. Like yeah. light legs and like handstand work. Mm -hmm. That'll be your session. Wednesday's full body. I can send you that work. Yeah, I think you said like full upper pump mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Like a hardish one. And then Thursday. No, Thursday we're off. Thursday we're so off. So I think yeah. it's Tuesday and Wednesday that are like full the, upper body. the full upper body pumps. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be ready. She'd be ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's good. It goes, it comes quick. Hey, you didn't cry. <laughs> I know. We're in a better place this time. <laughs> like no tears, just sweat. Just sweat. Oh yeah, I like that better. Just sweat. <laughs> just sweat. <laughs> Still a liquid. Still a body yeah. fluid, but just... Sweat. I got something out of you. I got some water out of you. There we go. <laughs> Good. That was great. Yay. Vegas. Here we go. Vegas. Come. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
I have that confidence boost from Titans now because the show went really well. In addition to, I just also feel like very at peace with how this season's already gone, that going into Olympia, I almost feel like it was in 2023 where when I showed up, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just happy to be here. I feel that same calmness and contentness with my own progress and my own results just in that alone because realistically Titans, obviously yes, we won the show which was absolutely amazing, but the biggest win for me was the physique round because that was something that I really, really wanted to show off and show how much work Jody and I put into off season and it was just really nice to see the changes and not only just from like the judges but also like looking at pictures like Jody and I obviously have the competition talks about it and we were just like look at all the progress from this year to this year and it's just so much better my confidence on stage with Silv and the posing really paid off and again I think I'm going to reach my goal and being able to show you guys what my posing routine is this year which I'm really excited for so in terms of where I'm at mentally I'm just very happy with how 2024 season is gone and anything after Titans is honestly just a complete bonus and that's why I feel like more at peace when I do start to feel anxious I go back to my my mental game of just constant morning affirmations. You guys see those on Instagram, talking to my friends, talking to other athletes and coaches and just bringing myself back into a peaceful state. And of course, one of the biggest things for me is also just like practicing my breathing. So four breaths in, four breaths hold, four breaths out. It helps calm my nervous system and just bring me back to a peaceful place. So in terms of prep from Titans to Olympia, I'm just feeling more calm, more happy. And I'm just really excited to perform for this weekend. I have a bunch of friends coming. We have some in the background. I know it's not part of the question, but a super big shout out to my friends and family who are coming from Toronto all the way to Las Vegas, which is like not close at all. It's like a five hour flight. Olympia is obviously an expensive event to come to. And the fact that I have, I think it's a total of like 18 people coming to support me literally means the world and the amount of people who DM me saying I'm checking in on the live stream and the people who come to the gym saying like I can't wait to watch you on Friday on live stream that amount of support and love going into the show just means the absolute world to me so I do want to take a second and just say thank you so much because honestly it takes a village and I'm so glad that like I feel like I don't even have a village I feel like I have a whole country like you know what I mean like everyone has been so supportive and nice so I'm really excited impressed with the the Titans gym I don't need to go anywhere else I think I'm gonna do my pump workout here pull downs like I can they even have like dip flies mm -hmm. row oh my god look oh look the Olympia stuff so sick pretty cool all right so let's go make some money all right not gonna say that I'm a lucky person but should I gamble I think I will gamble. I'm gonna like, what's a good amount like to gamble? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Oh, I, was, I said 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Just kidding. I'm like 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, Vegas is so cool. So this is where we're staying. Where's our room? We're over there. We're the Crockfords, so we're in the middle. And then Zook is the after party. That's where we're gonna uns, uns, uns after Olympia. And then Olympia is that convention center. I think the convention center is this. I don't think it's this. I actually do think it's this because I can see it from our building. Oh, true say, yeah, you're right. It's low key kind of far. There's a lot of steps we're gonna have to take. My friend Chris, captured by Chris, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, gave me these shirts. Oh my God, and he didn't, I thought he only gave me like one of each size cause like, I didn't even expect shirts because he said he had a gift for me. I was thinking it was like a card and he made so many shirts and like you guys know that all my friends are coming to watch. And so now my friends can wear me on their bodies. I'm so excited. This is like one of the most touching gifts someone's ever given because I would never think to like make these myself and but they always look so cool when people have them. And so to have these and have someone make them for me and like obviously have like the phenom and then my name and stuff is just so nice. And it's from my favorite show. It's from, from Titans, which is the show that I've placed the best at because it was the one that I recently did. It was my first show of 2024. And the one that really just like really helped my mentality as well and I learned a lot. And so not only was it a great show for me performance wise, but like just sentimental wise, it's also a really great shirt. So this means so much. So I'm very happy. 
Aren't they cute? But this is a new pump cover, the Taylor Learmont pump cover. Cute. Overall, in terms of how we're feeling physique wise and everything like that, we're in a good spot. Overall, today we did like a nice spa day. We're at the, what, Crockford? Crockford. Crockford, Las Vegas. And we did their, if you guys need good amenities, come to this hotel because literally you have their spa, which has cold plunge, sauna, and like a hot tub. So you can do the contrast therapy. And then their gym is like, not only a good hotel gym, but like it's like a good gym, period. They have so many treadmills. They have so many Pelotons. They have a full turf. They have like an entire weight section. So it's not even like you have to like leave your hotel to go find a gym. So if you're in Vegas and you're partying hard, you can work out even harder. Um, and then on top of that, they have the compression boots. So I was gonna have to actually leave my hotel and then come back and do all my stuff. But now I can just do everything here, which is super handy. And so today was mainly just like a travel recovery day. And then tomorrow is Wednesday, which means we are three days out. It is a packed day. Tomorrow's the day that like the official Olympia stuff starts. So super excited for that. And we'll see you guys in the morning. We are heading down to the lobby to go grab the VQ video team. We're gonna be doing my pump workout, but they're gonna basically be recording it just to like a little follow along for their Olympia athletes. There's, I believe there's like seven, five to seven of us here. Quick pump workout, and then we're gonna go meet Jody and Steph to run routine. I do not know if I'm gonna run routine today. I'm gonna see how my body feels. If it feels tired, I'm not doing it, is what I've decided. Because I had a really good routine run through on Sunday and I was really happy with it, so that was my last one. That was my last one. What I've learned through this prep is don't push my body to do things it doesn't want to do because then I end up just getting really, really mentally frustrated. And we don't want that. Not one day out, not two days out. That is not a vibe. You hit a double back on stage, I'm walking out like, yeah, game over! Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. Trying to feel as light as possible. I was telling Dal, like, based off of, like, how Titans went, I feel like my personal goals have been met. And so, this show, I feel like I can just go in and just have fun. You know? Because, like, Titans went better than I, we even thought it was going to go, so... I'm really happy about that. That's what's up. Pressure's off for the Olympia. Right? That, that keeps the mind light. And this was really heavy for a lot of the season, so it's nice to not feel it like this. It feels heavy at one on one. Like, oh my god, unsured. Yeah, one on one. I mean, like, you, no, don't get me wrong, you are ripped like shredded paper. You do look like, you know, like somebody put lettuce through the blender. But you ain't got no type of heaviness to you. You fine. You good. Yes. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So we are two days out from the Olympia and I am feeling excited. I'm also feeling nervous and I know both of those emotions are relatively related. So I try to remind myself when I'm feeling nervous is that I'm really just excited to trip my brain a little bit. I think going into this show, uh, I spoke about it a lot, just that I'm really proud of how this season's already gone. And so going into Olympia, I feel a, a sense of peace, yeah, which is really nice. I've never really had that before. I also feel a little more confident going to the show because I know I've worked really hard. I know that my community, my family, my friends, everything like that support me regardless of the outcome and they're more excited for me just to perform. And so I'm excited to perform for them. So going into Olympia this year is very much a exciting process and with a, a sense of calmness and underlying nervousness. But I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys enjoy my routine and we'll see you guys on Friday. We have 
now entered full recovery mode. So we are currently at the end of my two days out. We did my pump workout this morning, worked out with VQ, and then we did my routine run through. Very happy with it. I feel like I get really nitpicky towards the end and find small little things to fuss about. But honestly, I'm just really happy with how it ran today, how it felt. And I know it's gonna feel 10 times better on the Olympia stage because you have the lights, the energy, the people, and it's just an honor to be on that stage in general. So I'm really excited for Friday. This is kind of like the same feeling I had last year when after I ran my routine, it just made me feel just ready for Friday. Um, so I'm really happy about that. So Resorts World has literally been the best ever for this. I think originally, like I said, I was supposed to like leave the hotel for recovery stuff, but they have it all here. And so I can just do my compression, my cold plunge, my stretching, my workouts. Like I can literally just stay in one place, which makes it so much easier. You guys know when you travel, like the more moving parts you have, the more stressful it is. So I'm actually gonna do like a get ready with me reel that I wanna show you guys of like how I set up my room and how everything goes. Just to like the tips and tricks I've learned to help keep my travel day during prep nice and easy so yeah that is basically it for today and then we literally go to one day out and then we have show day which is I for once I don't feel like Ugh. You know, like it's like it's show day, like it's gonna be fun, like I'm excited. So so all we have left for the day is to do athlete check-in. Check in actually no, first we have to check in with Jody. Then we have athlete check-ins, and then we figure out what number I am. I'm gonna when I get my number, I'm gonna tell you guys like my whole like theory and connection with numbers and how I think I'm gonna be number nine and why I think that's a good thing. But that'll that'll come. After that, we get our number and then that is it. Tomorrow's fully off, more recovery, and then we hit the stage on show day on Friday. Hi! Hi Bird, do not remove these. Hello. Left one looks deeper than your right right now, which is rare. So for this one, I think I've been uh, I've been second guessing how to do this one. So when I set up, it's here with my hips and then out. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. And back and out. Yep. 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 It's funny. Yeah, your left looks deeper than your right, which is never Usually happens. different. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Lats look great. Good. Nice skin. For the end of the day, you don't look that full. We can eat more. Let's see your presentation. What's it's different. The more you can. Yeah. Huge yeah. difference. Yay. I just had 100 grams of rice again with yeah, no. yeah. the beef. Like just now? Yeah. I was hungry. Why is your stomach so flat then? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> yeah, better. that's better. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, just give me a burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's tempting. It's Fuck tempting, it. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then you probably lose more weight. Yeah. <laughs> you, always look, 90 you do always look good after your sushi. <laughs> However, well, there's tons of sushi in America. <laughs> <laughs> so this one twists more this way or no? Yeah, I just can't see the bad. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there, no, like don't put more. Yeah, yeah, there. Pulling the lap, but not the whole body. Okay. Yeah. Drop into it. Good, good. That makes a big difference. That's definitely better with the quads, the bend. Good. Yeah, with the bend, I can push. Yes. More if it's straight, I kind of get stuck. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely better. Yeah, you can eat more. I don't want to say you look flat because you're not flat, but you can definitely eat more. Because you don't look full for being five meals and then like two rice cakes with peanut butter and a little bit of honey on there, even like right now. Mm. And some salt. And, and salt on it. Okay. Oh. Mm, wow, it's like a dessert. That's <laughs> like a crumble cookie right there. <laughs> I'd say you could do that like now for sure, and then we that would still leave us time to eat a bit more before bed. That's last in your your Titans vlog when you're like, I weighed this, so I hope Jody feeds me more, and then I watched it after, I'm like, I didn't feed you more. <laughs> <laughs> I did not feed you more. Three thousand no. calories and lose weight. You're happy. You can eat food. <laughs> it's so true though. Mindset affects digestion so much. So. Yeah. You want to eat during prep? Just be carefree. <laughs> you have to talk to your food and be like, oatmeal, you're going to go right through me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I that just perfectly. Yes, it works, it works. But yeah, it's a whole other ballgame from Titans to this one. So. Well, Titans, like two weeks out, I wasn't pooping for like four days. Yeah. It was, And when I wouldn't poop, I would get more upset each day. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that means I can feed you this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, you can have more fiber, but no. <laughs> Remember, I thought I was number nine. Girl pop can't count because I'm number eight. But that's okay. You know why? Here's my math. This is how I relate to my number. I was number 18 in Titans, so one times eight equals eight, and we're eight. I can now relate to my number. Nice. <laughs> and then the one that's gonna be first place. We gonna try. So you'll stay with eight. You'll stay with okay. eight. Eight is also known as like a really lucky number in like the Chinese culture, so I'm also Chinese. So. Let's go. Kevin knows Asian culture better than I do. Eight means fa. That means you're gonna make a lot of fortune. Woo! It's a great number. And we're in, in Las Vegas. Yo. Maybe I'm gonna gamble, make some money. You know. Or you know, maybe I can win also, something. 
hate when you turn it sideways. Infinity. Infinity and beyond. Let's go. To infinity yeah. and beyond. Nice fit. Change. One day out, we currently have the tracksuit, which by far everyone knows this is the best part about being an Olympian athlete is that you get the swag, okay? So this is new. This is what it looks like, the bag. Um, I would show you what it looks like, but then I have to take off my bag and I'm a little too lazy for that. But you guys can see that when I'm obviously walking around doing other stuff. The leggings. And then, yeah, we're getting ready for the press conference. This is my second press conference. I'm really excited. And then we have Tan, and then we have Meet the Athletes later. So this is one day out. This is the 60th <laughs> Olympia. Come on, folks, you gotta do better than that. We got a whole bunch of athletes back here who've dedicated their lives all year long to coming on this stage right here for this Olympia. I ask you once again, are you ready? All right, Sid, give me some athletes on this stage. I have another question for Taylor. Taylor, you, to me, you came out of nowhere last year. And this, I think it was your first Olympia last year. It was, yeah. You placed second. So, of course, you're one of the favorite going into the show this year. What is it like sitting right next to a two-time fitness Olympian, knowing that you are right there and you might have a chance to maybe even move up a spot? So how do you feel about it? I definitely feel intimidated. <laughs> I think Missy's absolutely amazing and just to be in like the same sentence with her and to be at the top for fitness has been something I could have never dreamed of. As a gymnast, I never considered myself a top athlete ever, so to be on the Olympia stage and to be considered one is just a dream in itself. So going into the show, I'm just going to try to have as much fun as possible and just have fun with Missy and the rest of the girls. So, yeah. Woo! Well, I'm sure if you have a lot of fun, the audience will enjoy it because your routine last year was off the charts. Thank you. So just sitting here looking at you, Taylor, looking at Missy, I know you're very confident, Taylor, as far as in your presentation and, and with your gymnastic skills. In the physique round, do you feel, because I'm looking at Missy and her, her shoulders, and, and Missy was on her way, you know, she won that, um, the physique round that morning, you were on your way, I believe, to win. How do you, what are you doing in regards to the physique and training to be in alignment? Obviously last year I was my first year and I'm small and I'm small still, little T fitness for a reason, but we just took the off season really seriously and I know that with patience and time, my body will eventually get there, but I know from last year to this year I've made in my opinion, significant differences, and I'm hoping that shows on stage tomorrow, and I'm excited to show it off, because Jody and I, my coach, did a lot of work this season, and I'm just excited to perform. Outstanding, thank you. You're no stranger to the Olympia stage. I think you had, what, 12 straight in the top? Extend our gratitude to Mr. Olympia. Yeah, because I had a good show in LA, I feel better. And like I good I had a good last practice, which was good. I'm just getting through it, you know? Thanks, Fran. I wish you were here. All right, here with the champ. Will she be the new Olympia champion? Taylor Larmont, wow, what a debut last year. Thank Hard you. to go up much higher, but you got just a little bit of room left. And as of course, is that much coveted Olympia title. How are you feeling? I feel really good. I'm really excited for the weekend. I feel nice and light in my mind and my body feels good. So I'm excited. The only thing on you, of course, last year was your routine was, of course, crazy. Heads and tails above everybody else. And, and uh, you got great accolades. The physique round, even though it's only worth one third, it still counts, right? You got to have that. So I know you've been working real hard to bring that physique up just a little bit I to match been. that fantastic routine. How do you feel like your progress was this year? I think it's something I'm very proud of. Uh, my last show I did Titans, I actually ended up winning the physique round. What? Which was, I know, <laughs> what? Uh, it was a complete shock to me, but I just, it made me feel really good about the hard work that I put in because yeah. obviously off season, you know, you see yourself kind of big and bulky and you don't know how it's going to pan out. Big and bulky. 
Well, big, big and bulky for me. I'm little be, to you, right? Can't so. be 100 pounds. How, how much do you weigh? <laughs> During my off season, I was 124. 124. And then right now, I'm sitting at 102. So 102, just over. Yeah, there. just, just right over it. But it's nice to know that the hard work of the season worked out for that one show. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just hoping to improve from my last package and. Not necessarily I'm, I'm, I'm caring about placing or anything like that for physique round, but it's more just to show that sure, I put in the work and I really do care about the sport of bodybuilding in that one third. So you got to feel good about your chances because pretty much you beat everybody here to last year. Oksana raising a family, uh, so you know we're building on her family, <laughs> I should say. So that, that puts you in the number one person to beat, right? It does hypothetically. Oh, hypothetically. hypothetically. Of course, yeah. of course. But listen, you still got to do the dance. Yes, you still, still got to go work. out there. Not fall off the stage, you know, and of course present that great physique. But I'm looking forward to it. I've been saying it all week long. If I had to put money down, we're in Vegas, right? If I got to put it back, who's got the best probability of winning an Olympia title? It's you. Really? So don't let me down, Taylor. I will try my best not to. No pressure. <laughs> so the next time we're this close, I'll be holding a microphone in the middle of the stage as you're giving your Olympia acceptance speech. How does that sound? That sounds pretty cool. Right, so that is it for peak week guys this is literally the end of it we have show day tomorrow uh, so we just are finishing up the athlete meet and greet we're gonna go to bed because we have makeup at 5 a.m so hopefully you guys enjoyed peak week and what goes into it and everything like that we're ending the week off feeling light strong happy positive and we're gonna kill it tomorrow see you with your day